yeah, I don't understand people that are call themselves strikers or wrestlers or whatever. It's that that day's gone. Like that's UFC two, you know, the, or UFC one. What, a guy with one glove on who get who <laughs> who taps when he gets mounted, like you know. But um, yeah, I just think uh, you just you just got to be good at everything at this stage. But, but uh, I learned this way off YouTube. It's the old Thai way of doing it, where you put a layer along the knuckles first. So. First time in a while, I was like just really enjoying training. Like really, really enjoying. I was coming in on my own back, didn't have anything planned. I was just showing up to train, like you know, and, yeah, putting in the hours. So feel good. Uh, I'm fighting Jesse Taylor. Uh, people might know him from uh, Ultimate Fighter Infamy. <laughs> uh, he. Uh, he embarrassed himself a little on the show by kicking out a, um, a limo window, I think it was, uh, and uh, he got thrown off the finale. So uh, he's, but he's fought a lot of top guys, like been in there. He's only lost to really top top level opponents, like a Luke Rockhold and uh, um, yeah Hector Lombard and stuff. Like, so good opponent for me. Yeah, well, like as we were saying, um, like I'm not going to give too much away, but like we all know he's going to try and wrestle and. Uh, so I've been looking at keeping out range, but uh, I've been trying a lot of high kicks lately. But uh, I've been mixing up. I've kind of been uh, learning some kind of karate style kicks, like for uh, mixing, like going from a teep to the body to a head kick. Like it's called a question mark kick, so it kind of goes like that and uh, stuff like that. And then uh, a double tap where I throw an inside le leg kick and then go high with the same leg. Like. So uh, mixing a lot of stuff up. But uh, like it's going to be a scrappy fight for a round or two, I imagine. Like you know, well that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting everything out of the guy, the best version of him. But like. I just think of too much from. Yeah, I do. Uh, like a few of us have different approaches, um, but uh, like I like to watch what, like a lot of fights basically. Um, uh, like and kind of me and John tend to formulate a game plan then based on what they do. But like I think anyone that's ever watched Jesse Taylor knows what's going to happen before he's going to come out and start shooting a leg straight away. I'm going to look to make distance and show some strikes. But uh, well, people haven't seen is me off my back yet. Like um, so, like I'm happy to go there. I got these big go-go gadget legs to wrap around for triangles. I'll finish him 100%. I want to make a, a big statement with this fight. Like, I don't want, uh, like, uh, I've never been to a decision, and I hope I never go to a decision. Um, I just want to finish the guy, and I want to finish him. Uh, as, as I've said to a few people, I don't want a wow performance where everyone goes, wow, that was amazing. I want, oh, is that guy all right? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that old Japanese, you know, in pride where everyone just kind of goes quiet and, oh my God, what just happened? We've been slagging about that for years. Uh, me, Brian Murr, and Levi uh, from the gym. Uh, have been kind of saying because I was talking a while ago about changing my name and I was saying uh, El Flamo Blanco and then one of them said El Storco Blanco just because I'm pale and I'm tall. I always think the killing has the best ring to it, like, you know. Yeah. I just. What did he piss himself?